Hey, this is a follow-up video. Uh, I made a video the other day uh, where I showed how to remove a background on a JPEG image. And the purpose that uh, most people would have for that, I think, is if in case they wanted to take an image of a garment, a uh, vehicle, whatever it might be, and they just want to keep the foreground, they want to get rid of the background. They want the focus to be just on the foreground image or object, and they want everything, every other distraction to get out of there. And the other video I made, which I'm going to put a link on here too, um, all I did was just delete the background. I showed how to do that, and I showed how to do it like on a JPEG. It could be on a, on a PNG file or other type of image file, but I just showed how to do it on a JPEG uh, when I made that example. And therefore, there's no ability to have just a clear or transparent background on a JPEG. And uh, some people might want that, so that's why I made this video here as a follow-up. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is take that same JPEG file that we had. I already saved a copy, so this is the file I made on that other video. I just went uh, copy, I went paste, and I got a copy of a copy. Um, anyway, I'm going to drag that in here, and I'm going to save this JPEG as... export it as a PNG file. So it's a JPEG right now. I'm going to change this from .jpg to .png. And export. I'm just going to use these defaults here. And okay, so when you have a clear background, uh, uh, some people call that an alpha channel. And so what I'm going to do is now that this was used to be a JPEG and we just saved it as a PNG file, I'm going to go to uh, this layer menu, drop down, I'm going to go down to transparency and I'm going to go over to alpha channel and add alpha channel. If you do not have the ability to select this, you probably already have an alpha channel in your image for some reason. All that means is like, uh, just imagine there's a clear pane, plane, clear pane of glass behind the foreground here. So behind this white and gray and black of this sweatshirt here, there is just a clear layer. And that's the alpha channel. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is, kind of like on the other video, I'm going to select some colors or some, some color regions. I'm going to use this magic uh, wand or fuzzy select tool, they call it on here. And I'm going to hold down the shift key to select multiple uh, regions at once. And I'm going to hit my delete button. And now that you see this uh, dark gray and light gray checkerboard background, that uh, that's not what you're actually going to see when you save this photo out or this image out. What you're going to see is nothing. It's just going to be clear. But because it's kind of hard to you know, show that, um, what are you going to show? Like a white background? And we just deleted a white background because we wanted to make it clear. So that's why uh, a lot of photo editing tools um, show it this checkerboard uh, pattern to denote that it is a transparent layer that you're seeing transparency right here. So I'm going to go up here, I'm just going to export this image that I've just edited over, save it over, uh, what, what I had before. And so now I should have a PNG file down here. It's a JPEG file. JPEG. Here it is. Here's that uh, PNG file. And you can see when I hover over it, it's kind of got this highlight of this light blue color. And you can also see how there's a light blue um, in the background of this now. Whereas if I highlight the JPEG copy that I made, I still have that light blue highlight that I'm hovering over it. Uh, but you can see the light, there's still a white background up here. So Here's my PNG version that's got the the transparent background, and so you can see it worked. So that is how you can use a free program, free photo editing program called GIMP, G-I-M-P, and you can uh, add an alpha channel, clear, transparent layer to the background, uh, delete uh, your foreground colors, and then 
uh, just have a clear, transparent background to your image.